Welcome back to Cook It Simple with Eric. Today we have this beautiful, beautiful casserole. This is a uh, chicken and stovetop stuffing casserole. It is delicious. I'm going to show you how to make it. So let's get started. So the ingredients that we are going to use today, of course, we're going to have your stovetop stuffing, six ounce box. We're going to use the whole thing. Um, we have about a cup and a half of chicken broth that I've warmed up, not hot, but warm. I have about six or eight ounces of mixed veggies, which is peas and carrots that I like to put in there. Um, I have one pound of chicken breast diced up to I don't know, about one inch cubes you know they're all about similar size of course salt and pepper a little bit of garlic um, we're going to use a half of a cup of milk for our cream of chicken soup condensed soup that I got this is cream of chicken with herb that's why you got the little black stuff in there gives a little bit of extra flavor um, chicken can be a little boring so you need to pep it up a little bit hi Stuart so let's get started on putting it all together. So there's a couple of prep steps that I like to do um, that needs to be done first before we start building the casserole. First thing we need to do is preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Next thing we need to do is I like to prepare the stuffing ahead of time. Um, some people prepare it all the way, just like the box recommends. Other people just put it on top and pour the chicken broth on top. You can do it either which way, whatever your preference is. I like to just take the whole thing, mix it all together. Make sure you get all your seasonings going on. Then I have a cup and a half of chicken broth that I have warmed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just Pour some in there, mix it around, and you'll see here in a later step that this should fluff up a little bit more. And that's why I use the warm. So you just basically want to make sure everything is moist. And that way that'll fluff up. You'll kind of see let that all that absorb up so we're going to put this off to the side here there you go so you got yourself a nice little mess gooey mess here which all these will fluff up we'll fluff it with a fork put it on top here in a minute so let's get to the next step so our next step we want to do is we want to take our cream of chicken condensed soup straight out of the can let's get it all dumped in there bit of that now if you want I use one can if you want to use two cans can and a half whatever um, by all means do that so first thing I just want to put it in there then I'm just going to pour all the milk in which is a half a cup of your milk now here now what I like to do at this stage is use a whisk it just makes life so much easier on that so it kind of makes it a little bit creamier like I said if you want a little bit uh, a little bit th thicker gravy is what we'll call it in your casserole just go ahead and use an extra can if you like some people will put cream of mushroom in some people put cream of celery in I just use cream of chicken with herb and I think it turns out wonderful um, at this point, once you have your have that mixed up nicely, you still want it to be kind of thick. I put in all my veggies. Like I said, peas and carrots, just frozen from the bag. Um, probably about eight ounces. The bag comes in 12 ounce, but I don't use quite all of it. So here, you just want to get that mixed up nicely. And this is going to go over the chicken. There you go. Yep. 
Now this can make a very hearty meal. This is comfort food right here. All right, so let's set this off to the side. Let me grab the nine by 13, or I'm sorry, the 11 by seven. So we have our 11 by seven dish, which we want to just coat it. Coat the bottom where the chicken's going. Now, one of the stars of the show is our chicken. Now you'll see here, I've just got it cut up in little chunk pieces, about yay big. We're just gonna lay them out flat here. Now, yes, this is raw chicken. This is a step that some people will use shredded chicken. Some people will get a rotisserie chicken. Some people will cook the chicken first, then shred it themselves. Um, me, personally, I like to do it this way because it doesn't overcook the chicken. As long as your chicken pieces are about that size, they will cook up nicely. They will actually cook to about 165, 170 degrees when it's all said and done. There's our oven, which is preheated. So let me just throw this in. I think I'm being a little too OCD about it. Let's get that put in, get this thing built and get it put in the oven. So this will be cooking for we're going to cook for 35 minutes covered with foil and then we're going to take the foil off at the 35 minute mark and we're going to cook it for another 10 minutes to kind of brown the stuffing on the top. There you guys throw the chicken in, layer it out like so. Here's where I like to put a little seasoning on the chicken because like I said, chicken's a little boring. We need to dress it up there a little bit. Let's just throw some salt on it. Not a lot because you know you got salt in the soup and everything else. But now as far as pepper, I like to be generous on the pepper because that just makes the difference in the end. I think it does anyway. There we go. Let's do that. Make a mess. And I like to put a little bit of garlic powder over it like that. So let's go ahead and get our gravy put on. Now that we have everything mixed, we're just going to put it all around. Let it get in the little cracks and crevices there. There. There you go, just smooth her out like so. Our stuffing, see how it's kind of fluffed once we run our fork through it. See how that kind of fluffs up there? That's going to give us a better layer on top. So this, just kind of just dump it on there. Oh, this is my mother used to make this dish for us as kids. There's four of us, so she had to learn to stretch the pocketbook and make meals like this. So it's actually a rather inexpensive meal. But we always loved it. It was one of, the, one of the favorites growing up that we liked. So as an adult, I still like to cook it for my family. Now this serving that I'm doing, it's... Um, around. This will serve about four people. Now you can eat this as a dish alone or you can do like a side of mashed potatoes um, or anything like that. Throw that on there. All right. Now the last now the last thing we need to do is cover it with foil. Let's 
Put it in the oven for 35 minutes. We'll set the timer for 35 minutes. We'll remove it then, uncover it, and bake for another 10 minutes. Okay, it's been 35 minutes. Let's go ahead and take the foil off of it. it smells good. All right, first thing. Let's go ahead. I just use my hands. It's hot. Oh, that's looking beautiful. All right, let's put it back in for 10 more minutes. And at 10 minutes, we'll see it bubbling. And oh, everything should be cooked through. So that looks exactly like it's supposed to. You got the nice stuffing, a little fluffy. We that last 10 minutes, put a nice little crisp to it. Everything's bubbling. That means our chicken is done. One thing I do like to do though, is get my digital thermometer out. If you don't have one in your kitchen, this is definitely something to have. Try to find a piece of chicken somewhere. We're looking at about 170. There's one about 170. So your chicken should be nice and moist at this point too. So what we want to do now, let this sit for about 10 minutes to kind of rest. That'll help the gravy kind of settle in, thicken up a little bit. Then we'll come back and we'll try it. And my favorite part of cooking is eating. So let's give it a try. Maybe. Yeah, it's been sitting for about 10 minutes. Oh, that just look at that. I'm just going to get myself a plate full because I want to eat it all. Stuart is definitely there. Hi, buddy. Can you see Stuart? Hey, bud. Anything with chicken, Stuart loves it. Don't blame him. All right. This is going to be very hot. So let's make sure I get something with a little bit of everything in there. Big old chicken chunks. Looks beautiful. Ah, oh, it's hot. That is hot. A little, little bit of chicken. All right, big chicken. Let's get it all on there. Mm. That's going to burn. That <clears throat> has a lot of flavor for the few ingredients that we've used. I mean, really, I mean, you just have to try this. Again, I say that every week, but every week we make something good. So, again, thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for all the comments. I just, I love it. It's a great thing.